Hello everybody, quick video here for you this evening. It's draft night and so I am drafting along in Madden 23 along with the actual draft. The Cardinals are, have about three minutes left on their time for pick three. Um, as you can see, I already uh, selected Bryce Young for the Panthers. Uh, and the second pick is, of course, C.J. Stroud from THE Ohio State University. And so I'll be talking about how I uh, did this, made this possible for a franchise uh, mode. So again, I'm in franchise mode, and I'll show you in a second how to uh, take over all of the teams at the same time. But so we're on the Texans, and so we'll go in to make the selection. We do pick player, and the um, this uh, particular draft class that I've imported it does have all the players, but the order is a little sus as far as uh, so forth. As you can see, C.J. Stroud all the way down here at ten. Um, and but he has uh, even even better numbers than our uh, better uh, letter grades than uh, Bryce Young did, and so only time will tell though. But so we'll pick him for the Texans. All right, so we got him. So uh, and then next on the clock is the. Cardinals, and so as you can see, you can't pick from here because this is the um, Texans uh, franchise slot, character slot. Uh, so you go to options, user teams, and this is actually how you also you also go into options, and then you do new character, and you add yourself as each of the teams. So as you can see, I have I have uh, all of the teams in here. And once you're all done drafting, you would go in and, let's see, actions, and you will, um, you can't do it, you can't do it right now, I think it might be because it's in the middle of the draft, but then you would change the um, auto function, see where it says off now, that means you have complete control, you would change the auto uh, function off or on to unlimited, or you can set it for the number of weeks that you want it want it to uh, the computer to do the uh, running of the team. So you can set all of those except your team. My team is Washington Commanders, uh, so all of them except that I will set all of those to uh, unlimited auto, so they will be on autopilot for the rest of the franchise. Because once you go through the first year, um, lost my train of thought. Oh, you go through this first year, and then it'll be auto-generated uh, um, draft for the next year. Uh, so what do we want to do? We want to go to Cardinals, right? Cardinals, there we are. And so we switch to that character. And so we're the Cardinals, and did they pick anything yet? Uh, why does it say Houston is on the clock? Oh, the Houston traded up. Okay, we can do that too. Wow, okay. Alrighty. Um, so we do manage roster. Uh, i got to find out what they traded for, though. You manage roster and get this going to take a little bit longer sorry because of the trade that just happened oh they took will anderson uh nice edge rusher there outside linebacker i believe he will be rushing the passer from that outside linebacker spot okay so we go to trade And manual trade and that player pick. 
we get that pick number three right there. Advance, go to there, change the team to the Texans. So they had two picks in a row. And they're going to tra trade for uh, obviously the 12th pick. And, and I'm going to see what else. I'm going to use my other computer to do that. So sorry for the dead air. As Indianapolis is now on the clock for pick four. Uh, let's see. Uh, just want to see what the details are in. Look for that. Uh... All right. Well, no, nothing's on the main page with that yet. Other news today, the um, Ravens and Lamar Jackson reached a five-year deal, and that's good for both sides because there, there wasn't really anywhere else for him to go as far as salary cap and so forth uh, was concerned. Uh, okay, still looking for the details of the trade. Um... Draft trades 2023, maybe it'll come up there. Ah, let's see. Got some Twitters, but it doesn't say what the details are. It just says that they traded and that Will Anderson is the pick that makes uh, two picks from the um, from Alabama in the first three Alabama Ohio State and Alabama again all right because I got I have to do all of the all the uh, tri the trade uh, in order it would be way way much more work for me so again sorry about the um uh, i'll put the um chapter i'll put uh, chapters in about where where the picks are and so that for the uh next pick or when i actually make the trade i'll i'll, I'll put try to put that in under chapters so you don't have to watch all this dead air here try to talk about stuff while I'm looking for it. Let's see. Probably the best bet would be to go back to ESPN and wait for it to show up on the main page. Mm -hmm. uh, the show um, on the main page, they also have uh, underneath the the draft on on the main page underneath the draft the, the live draft um action showing you what's going on saying it's in progress and and the picks underneath that is my news and it says shows the highlights that make cj stroud the newest houston texan and check out that if that's still on there when you're watching this Check out Adam Schefter's Twitter, nothing on there. Colt's still on the clock for pick number four. And that's kind of good that, uh, I mean, it'll be fine uh, to be behind because there's like 10 minutes uh, on the clock for each team as they determine whether they want to pick the player they have targeted at that position or if they want to trade. Uh, and so once I get this trade done, and if there aren't any more trades, I'll, just, I'll be able to do multiple uh, picks at the same time.
Um, you can start uh, with what I started with, which is my um, roster. Again, I, I don't know if, if the rosters are uh, the downloadable community files, if they are the same between PC and PlayStation and Xbox. Um, but uh, they definitely would be available under the community files in PC. And my username on there is Thrillcat. And the uh, roster file is uh, free 2023 or 2023 free. I can't remember which, but you'll see there's uh, thousands of downloads of that. Appreciate it for everybody that downloaded that. And that is completely up to date as of this morning. So you're starting with all the free agent sign and all the cuts uh, from the free agency period. You can think the news would be somewhere. The trade details. Draft, night, trade, three. Oh, let's see. Okay. Oh, Adam did finally post something. Uh, the Cardinals get 12 and 33, the first and third in 2024. Wow, okay. That's a lot to give up, dog. And I am only going to be able to do, I'll do the 12th. Yeah, I only have three slots, so I will do the 12th and the 33rd pick uh, for this year and their first round pick in 2024. Oh, the Texans also get the 105th pick. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's see, I'll do this side first. So that's the 12th pick, the 33rd pick, um, and then the first for 2024, first round pick for 2024. Okay, and that is a lot to give up for Pick, uh, pick three and 105, I guess. If uh, if uh, Anderson turns out to be great, it will be a bargain. Let's see. So we advance, and then we can go back to the Cardinal side of it and add their 105th pick. Uh, I only made sure the first and second rounds were... The correct numbers um, after that, starting the third round, I will just make sure the right player gets on the right team without it having to be in the exact slot. So, um, so that would be set 105. It's going to be the 109th pick from there. So just four picks off. So basically the same deal. And so that's the trade there. Let me submit it, and any trade you submit, if you are the owners of both of those teams, which I'm the owner of all the teams right now, and so, and they are on uh, on manual for all of them, and so it will just automatically accept it, and it will tell you whether it's, uh, see it says there's a decent feedback for the draft pick and the values and so forth. All right, so we back out of that. B on the old Xbox controller. Uh, uh, this is PC again uh, on the EA. Let's see, and what were we gonna do? Oh, so now we need to switch. Oh, we are the Texans still. So um, it says we're on the clock, but it doesn't say two, whoops. It doesn't say to 
draft, so probably I just have to switch characters and then switch back for it to realize what's going on. And I'll switch back to the Texans and then it should be there available for me to pick Anderson. There it is. And Anderson, of course, correctly put near the top. He was put as the uh, first player, or no? No, he was the second. And Bryce Young was the first. So actually, the person got the first two right, whoever ordered this uh, particular draft class. So we'll pick Will Anderson for the Texans. Make sure I'm on the Texans. I have the draft pause, so don't make any mistakes by rushing or run out of time. So it auto picks. Uh, yeah, so Texans and Anderson. Alrighty. All these, all these top guys uh, will probably have uh, hidden uh, features there that you will. Yet, yeah, if you, um, well, you'll see those uh, when you play with them uh, X number of plays, 500 plays, uh, or if you have the, the cheat for it, which you can get by uh, in the talents. Uh, now we wanted to do, yes, we wanted to switch to the Colts and see who they took. I haven't looked yet. Use your team. Oh, and doing that trade process is how I also got them to be the right uh, trade spots for the first and second rounds. Now, all this is to avoid having to create all of the players that somebody else has already done in the draft class, uh, is to avoid having to create all the players that get picked. I can just draft them. So all that work is, is done now, and I think it's like it end up being less work overall. Uh, who do we want? Cardinals. Cardinals. There they are, right there. Switch to that character. And oh, not the not the cards, the Colts. Cards are right after that, I think. Yeah. Um this turned out to be much more of a of a of an ordeal than I thought. Okay, on the, yep, make the selection. And who do they pick? Let's see, I'm on the trade information. Let's see, go back to the ESPN. Ah, the Colts pick Anthony Richardson quarterback. And now the Seahawks are on the clock. Okay, Anthony Richardson right there. So that's your Colts. Um, three quarterbacks and uh, Will Anderson, outside linebacker, going so far. All righty, so now Seahawks on the clock. Use your teams. And we're going to run in front of the Seahawks, I think, at the bottom. Which is that character, and we wait. And so, yeah, so now, yeah, and so now, now there's just waiting again. They have, oh, the pick's in, so not much waiting, but uh, now without, without having to do trades now, just have 10 minutes in between picks. So uh, I'll just, I'll just wait because the pick is in, so I'll do this pick uh, and then Figure out if I want to say anything else about this. Um, and if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. Or you can email me, CoachSteveMoney at gmail.com. Uh, they picked Devin Weatherspoon, cornerback. And he's, he's up there. I think he's a, he was projected to be the first cornerback taken. 
And you always got to have them because those wide receivers want to catch balls on you. Kevin Weatherspoon right there, man-to-man -man coverage from Illinois. Righty and the Lions on the clock now. And looks like they have seven minutes to go, so probably won't get to probably end it before we get to their pick. But once again, you know, get a user teams. I like that from your in, in your team when you're uh, when you create the franchise and you are just one team. If you go over to options. Um, and then use your teams, um, you will just click Y to add a new character on Y on, on this controller, but you click click down there where you see in the left on the left side, you see the uh, menu for the buttons. So you would just uh, do new character and then you pick the team. All the all the those list of teams is gonna already be up here. And uh, you just go through and pick them and add them so that you are the controlling person for that team. And by default, once you pick them, the autopilot will turn off so that you can control everything that they do. And then once you get all done drafting or whatever you want to do, trading, uh, once you get all done with that, um, then you can... Uh, turn the autopilot back on for all of them except the team that you want to use that you want to actually run. Um, what were we doing? Changing to Detroit. Uh, again, you can start this franchise off with my up to date uh, free agency roster, uh, at least on the PC community files. Again, I don't know if, if they are universal. Uh, and also it would be available on PlayStation uh, and uh, Xbox or if there are different um, communities. I do not know about that. So you would have to check that. But probably there's uh, roster files and draft classes. Draft classes, again, as I, like I said, I got uh, one of the newer ones that was uploaded. And I basically just made sure all the players are still there. But even though the order... The projected order looks sus to me a little bit. Um, it's, it's probably close enough. Um, and if it's that bad, can always do it again, of course. Um, yeah, and that's probably that username is Thrill Cat with two T's. It looks like if you go into the uh, community files, it's uh, under uh, load and share files, I think, on the main page of Madden, after you first load it. What am I looking for? Uh, lions. Let's see, is there anything else I need to tell you about it? Like I said, uh, coachdmoney at gmail.com if you'd like to, if you have any questions about this. And, uh, Again, I did it because I think it would be easier than creating 32 times seven rounds. Actually, it's more than that because of compensatory uh, picks that were given. So it's probably closer to 32 teams times eight picks for each team. And so rather than creating all those players, um, just using the players that were already in somebody's uh, draft class that you can download. And Lions, I remember, don't worry. Oh no, Cardinals, I'm wrong. Yeah, see so yeah, it's Cardinals. Oops, thought I didn't click on it. Where are those Cardinals? I saw them a second ago. So we do that, and does it say the peak is in? No, we got two minutes, 45 seconds. Oh, let's see, maybe I can, uh... oh, did I not change to them? 
Can I just back out of it? Must have backed out of it. Oh, because I oh because I was changing the wrong team. The cards that I want. Right? Yes. Oops, that's not what we want. Oh, they traded. They traded. No wonder I was confused. Jeez, man. Okay. Um, so... Uh, no, let's see. So, since we're already on the Cardinals, we can manage the roster or on the uh, trade the Cardinals. And so, we just need to see uh, what the details of the is from LA Rams through Detroit. So probably they just traded with Detroit, but there could be other picks involved. Let's reload that same page and see if uh, there's another thing in there. Uh, no, the details are not there yet. Okay, so again, once again, coachdeepmoney at gmail.com if you have any questions about what I've done here and how to, how to do this. Um, like I said, it's just a way to keep from uh, creating that many players. Um, if you wait, there will probably be somebody that makes a up-to-date roster that has both the free agent uh, signings, the cuts, and the drafted players. Uh, you just have to wait till somebody else does it if you uh, don't want to do any of this and still want to be able to play with the newly drafted players. Just waiting now to... To see, I guess I'll end the video. If something fun happens, I'll make another one to show how I'm doing it. But yeah, that, that page has been updated that showed. The page actually had Adam Schefter's Twitter post on it for the previous trade, but he doesn't have it for this one yet. So let's see, Adam, after Twitter. Arizona training to number six, yes. What did they give up? That was five minutes ago when he posted that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and in this, and uh, uh, I may do like a thumb up after I've done the complete uh, first round tonight. That's going to be. Oh, I think uh, midnight or so, maybe end up close to midnight, 11 o'clock or midnight on Eastern Time. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Once again, it's Coach Steve Money, Ramsey Solutions Certified Financial Coach. And you can schedule a free financial coaching consultation slash assessment with me if you've got money problems or you just want to make sure you're on the right track. And you can do that at Calendly like calendar but instead of the ar you put a y there calendly.com slash coach steve money or you can just email me coach steve money at gmail.com with any questions about coaching or this madden stuff or oak island or computer stuff anything that's on your mind you can ask and hopefully i'll be able to give you the answer thanks so much for watching